Hey everyone! So by now, uh, we all know, of course, there's this deadly virus going around the world, and most of us are stuck at home trying to avoid it. My channel is here to help you improve your English even when you're not going to class as usual. This video is about teaching you some useful vocabulary for this virus, whether talking about it with friends or reading about it in the newspapers. Now, before we go into vocab, please bear in mind I'm not an expert in viruses. Don't get all your information from me. I'm here to help you get information from people who know. These words and phrases are a useful starting block uh, for uh, you to watch the news, read the newspaper, something like that in English. When a virus first first starts spreading, uh, we call it an outbreak. Break here kind of means the beginning of something, maybe. Um, so we could say there's been an outbreak of coronavirus or COVID-19. And now, now that the outbreak is over, you could say the pandemic has started. And that's the word we'll be using most of the time. You, this, you hear this word a lot now, so you need to know this word, pandemic. Pan means all, everything. So a pandemic is when a virus spreads everywhere, like all over a country or the world. Uh, like many of these viruses, it's very contagious. Um, contagious means it spreads easily. We occasionally use the word to refer to an idea or something else that spreads, but mostly it's just for contagious diseases. And um, there's really, there's a few other words that you'll hear in every story about this, like the word infect. Um, really, infect just means to make someone sick. If you're sick, you're infected. If you get someone else sick, you infect that person. So don't go out too much, or you might get infected. <laughs> when it comes to this virus itself, where it came from, you might need to know the word evolve. Evolve uh, is a term we use in biology to show the gradual, or small, slow, changes of an organism, a, a living thing of any kind, over generations. Again, I don't know much about viruses in general, but I read that this virus evolved from older coronaviruses like SARS, which we heard about in 2003. It mutated. Mm -hmm. Mutation is a change in an organism's DNA, and that's one way that things evolve. And uh, there's, there's another word that uh, I've been hearing a lot recently, and that's the word zoonotic. You'll hear the word, uh, whenever you see zoo at the beginning of a word, it refers to animals. It's kind of the Latin for animals. Um, and so a zoonotic virus is one that spreads from other animals to humans it might have to mutate before it can do that. So we know this virus is pretty deadly. A couple of words you might possibly see in place of deadly are uh, lethal. You might see the word lethal. Um, a virus is lethal. Anything that can kill is lethal, a gun. Or the word fatal. Now, fatal is another common adjective for something that can kill you. And uh, a lot of the time you'll see the word fatalities. Um, I'm, I'm seeing that used a lot. Fatalities just means deaths. So you can read about the number of fatalities from the coronavirus, due to the coronavirus, or the number of fatalities per year caused by car accidents. Those are fatalities too. Ooh, before we go on, uh, there's uh, an important message from our advertisers. Hey students! Want to improve your English while you're stuck at home? Take me on as a teacher. 
In my ESL for Politics courses, you can choose from a bunch of different subjects, like politics, economics, how to study history, how to think critically, university-level writing, or, like in my last video, propaganda. And hey, I'm a teacher, so if what you want is general English, grammar, IELTS, TOEFL, something like that, I've got plenty of experience in teaching those things too. So send me an email at the address in the description, and I'll design a course that's just right for you. Now back to the lesson. Each government is reacting a bit differently, but most of them have been quarantining people. You may have seen the word quarantine in the airport. It's where you put... Uh, well, where you go or where your pets go until doctors are sure you don't have a virus that you're, you're going to infect others with. Some governments have been asking people to self-quarantine. So, makes sense. If quarantine's a verb, you can put self onto it, um, which just means staying at home voluntarily self-quarantining, right? While some places like China have been on lockdown. Mm. Lockdown has become actually a very common word again in the newspapers because it describes when the government forces everyone to stay inside. Now, where I live, uh, there's, there's no lockdown exactly. People are still going out to places they need to, like the supermarket, but they're practicing what's being called social distancing or physical distancing. In our case, that really just means staying about two meters away from others. Distancing yourself from others means creating a space between you. Um, the buses here are, are free, interestingly, now, um, but you enter in the middle of the bus, so you don't go near the driver, and every so often you hear this recorded message Please be mindful, which means uh, pay attention to, kind of a strange way to say it, but please be mindful of your physical distance from the driver and other passengers. So we're not on lockdown, possibly because the infection rate isn't very high here. Um, there isn't even a uh, what's called a curfew. You may know this one, a curfew, a time by which you're supposed to go home. Another response from government, maybe the most important in the long term, has been how they've been taking huge amounts of money and giving it to banks, corporations, and even a little bit to actual people. When the government gives out lots of money for, they say, to make the economy work better, they call it a stimulus. Um, outside economics, a stimulus is something that, that kind of pushes you or forces you to act or react. That's the word they use in government because that's what they want you to think they're doing. Stimulating the economy. Making it go forward. I think all they really want to do is compensate or give money back to the richest people for the money they lost on the stock market. That's what they did in 2009. You'll also want to know the word inject uh, for a couple of reasons, for both of the next two words, because inject means to, it really it means to put something into, under your skin with a needle. Um, for some reason, that I, I really don't understand. Journalists tend to use the same words to describe the same things over and over instead of using different words. They, they always use the word inject when the government gives money to rich people, saying things like, the government injected a billion dollars into the market, uh, or in the case of this stimulus, several trillion dollars. And if you're not so good on numbers, look up a trillion and think about what you could do with that much money. 
My advice for the months ahead, other than improving your English, of course, is to look at how governments are using this crisis to make more money and take more power for themselves. This so-called stimulus is a really good example. Some governments and corporations, since, since those two institutions have all the resources, are working on treatments, cures, or even vaccines. Uh, a vaccine is an injection, actually a real injection, something you can take so you won't get sick. We get them as kids. But uh, what they've said is there probably won't be a vaccine for COVID-19 for at least a year. Uh, so until then, things will be tough for the rest of us. We might have to stay indoors for a while. <laughs> Let's review the vocabulary, shall we? So uh, we learned the word outbreak. The, the beginning of the spread of a virus is the outbreak. Break kind of implies beginning, start, and out. Of course, it goes out from the one person to everybody else. It's an outbreak. There's a pretty good movie about a, a viral outbreak called Outbreak, if you want to watch it. It's a bit old. It's pretty good, as I remember. <laughs> um, nowadays, you're, you're likely to see this word pandemic even more, because a pandemic is when the virus has spread everywhere. Um, usually it refers to all over a country or all over the world, like in this case. The word contagious is very common. Contagious means it spreads. Like I say, you could use it for an idea or something, but mostly it's just for um, a disease, a virus, a viral infection or something. Um, infect is to make someone sick, so maybe um, you could say a virus infects you, but you could say that you got infected somehow. Maybe you got infected on a farm, or you got infected from that person, or by that person, I suppose. And an infection is the noun. To evolve is a term in biology that just means to change very slowly every generation. Um, so all creatures, all organisms evolve. Um, and probably they all mutate also. Mutate uh, is means a, a change in an organism's DNA. It comes from the Latin. Mutate in Latin really just means change. Um, here we can see it's, it's a biology term, so change in your DNA, and that occurs over generations as well. A word I just learned recently, zoonotic. Zoonotic really means from a non-human animal to a human. So a zoonotic virus means a, a virus that came from an animal, and uh, you might also hear zoonotic transmission, where the virus is transmitted, kind of sent, transmitted, to a human. Zoonotic transmission. You might hear deadly, lethal, or fatal. They all mean the same thing. It can kill. That's all it means. And likewise, you might hear the word fatalities. How many fatalities have there been in the country you live, you could ask. Then there's the word quarantine. Quarantine might be tough to say. Um, quarantine means going into isolation to stop the spread of a virus. And as I say, you might see that at the airport, even when there isn't a global pandemic going on like this, you still might have to quarantine your dog if you're taking it to a new country. People also have been self-quarantining. Uh, we've also uh, been on lockdown. In many places in the world, they're on lockdown. You can't leave your homes or maybe with permission or something like that. Uh, lockdown, mm, that's a good word. One of the, maybe this one is the most common term, social distancing. I'm hearing this a million times a day for the first time in my life. Social distancing really just means staying away from people, a couple of meters away from people, so they can't sneeze in your face. 
It's also, uh, they also use physical distancing, because physical just means your body. Uh, you, there might be a curfew where you live. There could easily be a curfew. Um, you probably know the word curfew as the thing your parents give you. You know, you have to be home by 10 o'clock or whatever because you're just a teenager. <laughs> um, it's also when governments force you to go home by a certain time. <clears throat> then there's the stimulus. So, like I say, stimulus is something that makes you react, but it's also used uh, to mean when they put, when, when governments give huge amounts of money, billions or even trillions of dollars, uh, to usually to banks so they can lend it or just give it out to corporations, something like that. <laughs> this stimulus will have a, a serious economic impact, but most of the money is really just going to people who are already rich. Uh, in, in talking about a stimulus, you might hear the word inject, an injection of money, uh, injecting money into the market, when, again, I don't really think that's what they're doing. They just want it to sound scientific. And finally, if you don't know this word already, a vaccine is uh, a, a small formula that we inject to uh, prevent future infection by any given virus. So, looks like we're stuck indoors for now, but that doesn't mean we can't learn and improve ourselves. Let me know in the comments what you're doing while you're at home. I know I'll be teaching my students. Oh, one more thing before I finish. Starting this week, I'm going to be live streaming on this channel for an hour or two most days. So, if you want to learn anything, if you have any questions, come by and you can tell me what you'd like to learn. So, stay safe, stay healthy. See you later.